Welcome, my name is Seamus Jones and I'm here with Swaraj and we're with the Compute Systems within the PowerEdge product group. Today, we wanna to bring you some guidance around DDR5 memory and then on the next gen PowerEdge servers featuring the fourth gen AMD Epic processors. We asked Swaraj to go off and do some testing on various workloads. Swaraj, what did you find? Specifically, we will be talking about memory config recommendations to help our customers right size their servers based on their requirements to achieve optimal performance, energy efficiency, and cost effectiveness. In this study, we tested over 90 test sets to collect over 1100 data points. Wow. On CPU based AI kind of workloads, we saw the best performance in PowerEdge R7625 with 64 GB DIMMs in a balanced configuration, but with 16 GB DIMMs in a balanced balance config, we get over 50% in cost savings for a marginal drop in performance. That's a huge savings. Any customer would be happy with that. But you didn't just test AI, right? Not at all. We look at different benchmark-based workloads like system memory, RAM, CPU-based AI inference, structured data management wow. and analytics, web serving, and media transcoding. We analyze their performance, performance per watt, and performance per dollar to make our recommendations. Man. Super interesting. The memory configurations that you did explore, explain to me a little bit more about that. Sure. One of them is right in front of us. It's the R7615. Let's have a look at it. Please. So we ran the test on PowerEd 7625, which is our two socket offering, and on PowerEd 7615, which is our two U1 socket AMD offering. The CPUs have a chiplet design with a central IO chiplet and surrounded by compute chiplets. The memory runs at speeds of up to 4,800 mega transfer per second. You'll find that that's 50% faster than previous gen. That's true. One other significant difference is the number of available memory slots. The four gen AMD Epic processors support up to 24 DIMMs per socket, while the third gen supported only 16 DIMMs per socket. Hey, let's look at the configs in detail. Sure, we tested it on balance, which is 12 DIMMs per socket, and in a nearly balance, which is eight DIMMs per socket and six DIMMs per socket configs. Though that config especially is great for customers that are price sensitive. Yes, PowerEd 7615 supports two DIMMs per channel, while PowerEd 7625 only supports one DIMM per channel. So for direct comparison, we only look at one DIMM per channel config. That's a lot of testing, a huge amount of data. What according to you and your findings, do you think are factors that might influence how customers are gonna make decisions on what configuration to buy? Firstly, different workloads have varying requirements in terms of CPU and memory resources. Okay. For example, a database server, a web server, a virtualization environment, or a high performance computing cluster have different demands. Second, understanding the number of concurrent users or the scale of usage on the server can help determine the necessary resources. Okay. Third, servers typically run continuously consuming substantial amount of energy over their operational lifespan. Energy co cost can contribute significantly to the total cost of ownership for data centers and organizations. Absolutely, and I'll tell you what, that cost is important around the acquisition cost as well. So fourth, I would say, is budget. Budget's important for any customer when they're trying to find the balance between performance and cost effectiveness within their allocated budget. And I'll tell you the fifth item, the last one in my mind, is the considering, uh, consideration of anticipated growth. Yeah? Ensuring that you have scalability for performance, for CPU and memory configurations for today, as well as the full five-year lifespan of the server is critically important. Now let's look at the results and make those recommendations based on the benchmarks that you did. What did the benchmarks look like for system memory performance? To look at memory bandwidth, we used Stream. It is a synthetic benchmark that is designed to measure sustainable memory bandwidth and corresponding computational rate for four simple vector kernels. We found that the performance in R7625 to be better than R7615. We also found the best performance and energy efficiency in R7625 with 32 GB DIMMs in balanced config. 
Based on this results, we recommend Power at 7625 featuring AMD Epic 9654 in 12 DIMMs per socket balance config with 32 GB DIMMs as it provides 11% better performance for only 4% increase in cost. So that dual socket system can provide 11% performance. That's an amazing jump. Mm -hmm. um, what do we find around the AI inferencing workloads? Sure. For CPU-based AI inference kind of workloads, we use TensorFlow. It implements popular CNN for large-scale image recognition with various batch sizes as it supports both running on a single machine and running in distributed mode across multiple hosts. Okay. Generally, large batch sizes are preferred as they offer better parallelization and computational efficiency, but they also require more memory. Okay. For the tests, we found that PowerEd 7625 outperformed 7615 in large batch sizes. We inferred from the performance results that these workloads are bandwidth bound and based on test results, we recommend PowerEd 7625 featuring AMD Epic 9654 in 16 GB balance config, which offers the best performance per watt and over 50% in cost savings for only 1% decrease in performance in comparison to 16 GB balance config. So again, the two socket R7625, one out. Yeah. Amazing. What about the uh, media transcode services? Yes, for that we use Blender. Blender is a very CPU heavy workload. It is an open source 3D creation and modeling software project which tests Blender cycle performance with various sample files. We run the test in the CPU only mode. So the performance that it takes with the Blender results Lower is better. Yes, we found that the time taken to perform the workload is almost half the time taken in R7625 than in R7615. Mm -hmm. Based on test results, we recommend PowerEd 7625 featuring AMD Epic 9654P with six DIMMs per CPU config. And a reminder that that's over 90 different configurations of memory configs and CPU configs within that test. What about database management systems like SQL or other key workloads like that? We use MariaDB to look at performance of these kind of workloads. Okay. It is designed to simulate concurrent client connections and execute SQL queries under a load similar to real world usage. Based on our testing, we recommend PowerEd 7615 featuring AMD Epic 9354P in the 8 DIMMs per socket config. First time 7615 winning, how do you feel about it? I absolutely love it. The one socket, it's cost effective and highly performant. Yeah. Well, what about web services or client tiers? For web service and client tier kind of workloads, we look at Apache HTTP web server. This test profile makes use of work program for facilitating the HTTP request, measuring its performance under different conditions to evaluate its speed, reliability, and overall efficiency over a fixed period with a configurable number of concurrent clients. We recommend PowerEdge 7615 featuring AMD Epic 9354P in a balanced config Makes sense. With that balanced config in the single socket, highly performant. So Raj, just to sum up, we appreciate you looking at all these key critical workloads, over 1,100 different configurations and test results, over 90 different configs within the CPU stacks and in three different configuration of systems. Really appreciate all the time, effort, and energy that it took to put all this data together. And your insights are invaluable for us making recommendations to customers on an ongoing basis. For this and more results, where can they find the detail of your report? You can find it on infohub.delltechnologies.com. Thank you.